So this is fine mere wood, uh, it's 44 hectares of uh, ancient woodland. Today I've come to a wildlife reserve in the north of my constituency to find out if the EU impacts on the work to preserve Britain's endangered wildlife. Lots of butterfly species use this sort of area, peacocks, blues, common blues and holly blues. Tim Reid is Burnwood's project officer. These sorts of ancient woodlands are increasingly rare. Um, in this area, what was this sort of royal hunting forest is now lots of very small fragmented patches of woodland, which are really important to hold on to. So Tim, tell me what you do here in, in Buckinghamshire in this woodland. This reserve is really fantastic for its bat populations. Um, we've got a really wide variety of species that use all parts of the wood, um, but the really key one are Beckstein bats, which are it's actually one of the UK's rarest mammals. Um, and this is a maternity roost for them, so they actually breed on this site. In, in terms of uh, the Europe, uh, Europe-wide conservation, uh, does this woodland and, and uh, the work of Beebout play a role? In the same way that this woodland is an isolated patch in this landscape, um, any singular country is an isolated patch in the world, mm. and the, the larger scale we can look at conservation, the far more effective it will be. Beebout's chief executive, Estelle Bailey, understands the importance of Europe. Oh, it's, it's massively important. If you look at the amount of land across the UK that's actually protected now by European legislation, if that were taken away, what would we be left with? You know, month by month, we're, we're seeing policies kind of falling by the wayside, um, which leaves uh, organisations like the Wildlife Trust, the RSPB, National Trust and Woodland Trust, in a really tricky position because we've been able to be quite pragmatic, I think, over um, the, the previous years. And now we're getting to a point where we're actually going to have to stand up and, and, and be a lot more vocal. What sort of impact does the EU have on the work that you do here locally on the ground? Well, it has a massive impact, but particularly with uh, planning and development control. If there was no uh, protection there, and no legislation, no robust legislation to turn to, um, actually I think it would be catastrophic. It is clear that Beebout's fantastic work is strengthened and enhanced by Britain's continued membership of the European Union and I will keep working to reform the institutions so that together we can protect the wildlife for us all. Could you imagine growing up in a world that you know just there's no wildlife, it would be so desperately sad. Yeah.